wilderness. Yeah. There's also another one. Yeah, what other Where one? Um, the apostles and uh, Jesus were, went out. Yep, they sure did. They camped out sometimes. Um, David and his men sometimes camped. But the one I want to focus on is the children of Israel in the wilderness. Now, who, what happened to the children of Israel that led them to be on a 40-year camp out in the wilderness? It's a little bit long. Yep. Lost, um, what? <laughs> Why, Looking what for a new home, if I remember. Um, for so long? Yeah. Um, they sort of started worshiping idols. Yeah, they, they got yeah. upset. And so it was prolonged. <laughs> Why were they there in the first place? Uh, because they escaped Egypt. Whoops, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I was about to say they escaped. <laughs> They escaped Egypt, and Sorry. the reason why they had to stay there is because they, <coughs> they didn't listen to what God said. Yeah. They, he had to teach them some more. So then they had to, they got, all they got was manna. Manna to teach them. Yeah, exactly. They were camping for 40 years. That's a long camp out, eh? Some people think that it's two night camp is a long camp out. Um, oh, you they were camping. They were camping out in the wilderness for 40 years. You're right, and they were there because God originally had delivered them from slavery. That He had saved them. And I want you to think about something. Just like the Israelites were delivered from slavery, Jesus has delivered us from sin. Now, sin being mistakes that we've made that would mean that we would be lost and we couldn't live forever with Him. Because of Jesus. It's like we're free from that. If we accept his leading, just like if the Israelites decided to follow Moses out of Israel, out of Egypt into the Promised Land, they would be free. Just like that, if we choose to follow Jesus, it's like we can be free um, in the Promised Land on a journey with, with Jesus as well. That's pretty cool. Now, they get led into the wilderness. Now, how long were they in Egypt before this? Anybody know? Is it like 10 years or longer? Longer. Longer? How about 20 years? A hundred. A hundred? Yeah. I think I think it was 400 years. Uh. 400 years. So, Egypt wasn't like Israel. There were a lot of weird laws. They were idolaters. They didn't even believe in God. They m worshipped multiple gods, and it was just a terrible place. So when God brought them out on their camp out in the wilderness, one of the first things he did was what? Make rules make rules. When you guys got here, it was one of the first things you did. Set some ground rules, right? Do this, don't do that. You have a partner when you do something, go to the bathroom, or whatever. <laughs> In the same way, when God led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he decided to set some ground rules. Because he wanted them to be safe, and he wanted them to be happy. Just like we have rules here, because we want to be safe and happy. There are some people that think that the rules that God gave are like hard and difficult and no fun and um, there's, they're pointless. Well, if you look at every one of the rules that God gave the people of Israel in the wilderness on their camp out, they all had a reason and it was all to make them more happy. Um, let's go through some of the Ten Commandments and talk about why these were actually good rules. How about, why would God give the rule that don't worship any idol? Why would God make that type of rule? Do you have an idea why God would make that rule? Uh, we go in the tent and yeah, go get your jacket. Because, like... Those it's idols really aren't cool. actually Go get your jacket. real, and like it's not worshiping God and. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, if they were uh, worshiping idols, expecting results, would they find him? Would the idols save them from anything? No. Probably not. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. What about why the rule? Um, do not murder. Because that's just bad. Because that's just bad. <laughs> Literally. It's also legal, too. That is illegal. <laughs> that's one of the easier ones to see why God would give that rule, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put it into our times, too. Yeah, you definitely can. We probably shouldn't murder either. Remember that, okay? None of you should murder. And that's because God wants us to be happy. That just makes sense, right? Yeah. My um, what about um, wouldn't there be wouldn't there be something more to that? Okay. In that if you 
are going to be the murderer, mm -hmm. there's something seriously wrong with your heart. Yeah, like, definitely. You know, don't murder. It isn't just don't murder, but it's like don't get angry like that. Don't get, yeah. you know, like don't get. I most certainly can't be hurt. That's a great point. Jesus talks about how, you know, it's more than just a checklist, right? It's about the spirit behind the law. The that's you you don't what about, yeah. um, yes, Jen? Wait, but what if you're on a cliff with somebody and you turn around with your face and you accidentally bump them and they fall off the cliff and die? That, that's, that's, that's not, not murder. murder. It's, that it's, 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 it's unintent <laughs> unintentional. That would be very sad. <laughs> but that would be your fault. You, I would murder. feel so bad for the rest of my life. Of course, yeah, me too. But you didn't plan on doing it. No, you didn't. You just kind of like, I'll you know, jump no. off after them. No! no. <laughs> to kill myself too. <laughs> um, what about, um, what's another? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Oh. Why would God say that? It's just wrong. It's just Be wrong? Because, um, you don't want to, uh, like, either, like, get married with somebody else or, like, yeah. uh, do anything else with, like, another man or a woman. Uh-huh. Why is that, um, Jennifer? Um, because, for example, if yeah, you're married to somebody, you promise to love them mm -hmm. and uh -huh. to be with them for the rest of your life. So if you go and commit adultery or cheat on your wife or husband, uh -huh. that is just wrong. God wouldn't want that because you promise you, like, your vows. Yeah, that's true. Now, it's more than just, I've got to keep a promise because i got to keep a promise. But it's because, don't you think people, the world is a, would be a better place if there wasn't any adultery? If there wasn't any murder, any of these things, right? Yeah. God wants us to be happy. Yeah. He wants things to to be harmonious, and He knew that. Well, if we were, if He He reminded us, don't commit adultery and don't commit up, do other things, because He knew that that is the best way for us to live. That is the way where we're going to be the happiest, and that He can bless and and be with us the most, right? Well, let's do a couple others. Um, Honor your father and mother. Um, you guys have answered. Anyone else? Why would he say honor your father and mother? They don't have an answer. I'll come back to you. Willie. Um, because like after, after the verse, they say like honor honor your father and mother for the days that you longer. Yeah. I think what they meant was that like the life that you like to get longer. Yeah. It just it's easy. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that your. Parents know what's best for you, and so obviously you should listen to them. But um, yep. I'm like this, and I just uh -huh. yep. it's also kind of like you're disobeying God if you disobey like this. Don't you think the world would be your house would be? Isn't your house always happier when you're honoring your parents? Yeah. Your siblings are honoring your parents or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Um, like if you honor your father and mother, mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can oh, you, like so you can feel like you your parents feel better, you feel better and totally. And like you won't get in like won't get in trouble. Okay, yeah, uh, that's for sure too. Okay, let's do one more. Um honor the Sabbath to keep it holy. Why would God give us that commandment? I'm gonna ask someone else over on my left side. That's maybe right about. side. Uh, flashlight. <laughs> why would why would um God say remember the Sabbath day to keep it? Why do you care about that? Because you need a day of rest and you need a day. There you go. Absolutely, <laughs> Steffi. Because God said a time is set aside a special time for us to spend time with Him, and if we like. Remember the Sabbath day, mm -hmm. like, well, if we forget about it and not, you know, Keep it. then we're basically like, not. <laughs> wow, <there's somebody laughs> not if we not, uh, if we don't keep it, that's not like you're not worshiping God. You're not obeying Sin. Him. Sin. You're Sin. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Good. Uh, Carter. Uh, it's like, <laughs> like when you're, because like when Sabbath comes, it's also. Your day of rest. Yes, it is. So, you want to rest while mm -hmm. you want to feel like relaxed and rested while you're you're honoring God. 
Absolutely. The Sabbath is a special commandment because, and he even says remember, because I think he knew it would be easy for us to forget. He says, remember the Sabbath to remember that I created the world. And another place it says, remember that I brought you out of Egypt. In other words, remember that I'm your Savior. So resting on the Sabbath is a reminder that God is in control, not us. You know, sometimes it's easier to just keep working. <laughs> but it's so good for us to rest. It's so good to take a break. I mean, that's why we love vacations, right? <laughs> so it's, it's why I love camp out there. Yeah, just come apart, be, be separate. And so I just want you to imagine with me for a minute, what would this world be like, Steffi and uh, Ashton? What would this world be like if everyone kept the Ten Commandments? Just, just imagine it. There's no answer. Everyone knows the answer. It would be like heaven, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be amazing? No one killed. No one committed adultery. No one, mur no one murdered. No one lied. No one stole. No one stole all these. Everyone. We wouldn't need currency. Yeah, well, maybe. Everyone rested. What a great world that would be. That just tells me, man, God was pretty smart. Those were some good rules, and I want to live by those rules. Now, quick side note. Is following those rules what gets you to heaven? No. Nope. No, what gets you to heaven? You need to believe in God and trust that he's the same. Yeah, Jesus saves us because all of us have broken those laws. We're all going to make mistakes, right? Um, that's not what saves us, but because we're saved, because Jesus, God took us out of Egypt, so to speak, then he says, all right, now that you're saved, I want you to live the best life you can live. And so he gives us these rules. So tonight is a little different worship because we're just talking about the rules. <laughs> Usually you don't talk about the rules, but I want us to, I just want you to think about that and remember that the rules are actually the most amazing things. And if everyone followed the simple rules in the Bible, we would just have an amazing, amazing world. And there's going to be a time when everyone's going to follow the rules and life is going to be great. And it's, it's all because Jesus has saved us. He brought us out of Egypt. Now, let's all just take kind of a couple of deep breaths, kind of get into a sort of restful Sabbath mode, look into the fire. <laughs> I'm sure these, can, these ones could make just as much noise. I'm, or I'll better. Bet. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, have to smell like toilet. We'll, <laughs> exactly. we'll show them. Oh yeah, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll have the toilet <laughs> open. Yeah, All right, guys, let's open. not talk about that right now. <laughs> Give us the Sabbath the rest and has um, given us guidance so that we can live a great life with them. And I hope you have a great weekend here. I'm really sorry I can't spend all weekend with you. I've got to go down and preach to the little church and um, got to lead some song services in the afternoon and, and stuff like that. But um, I hope that you just have a wonderful weekend together and building bonds as, as a Pathfinder Club, making friends and glorifying God together. So let's, um, let's close with the word of prayer. Dear Jesus, um, the rules aren't what save us, and it is possible that we just get stuck on the rules and then they become a burden. Um, I'm sorry for the times where um, I have mistook it and thought that the rules were bad and just out to get me. But thank you so much for the reality that you just want us to live an awesome life. You want life to be good for us. You want us to be happy. And help us to trust you that that is really the case when we choose to follow you. Um, I pray that each one of us tonight will make a commitment to follow you because of how much you love us and care for us. Remembering that because of Jesus, we can live forever with you if we choose. Um, please come into our hearts. Please give us a warm night. Please help us to sleep well and no one to be too cold. Help us to have a great rest of the weekend together. Thank you for all our Pathfinder leaders who um, worked so hard to give us a great weekend together and teach us and um, guide us. And um, we pray that you bless them. Be with our families back at home us have just a great rest of the weekend. Thank you for a nice warm fire to gather around. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
All right, so um, I will turn it over to Kelly. Are there any okay, announcements?